Hi guys, and welcome to Paradox Interactive here in the Paradox Tower of Doom. Uh, it's Sweden and slowly approaches autumn. Uh, I'm Jacob Munta, I'm the, or Jacob Munta, I'm the brand manager here at Paradox Interactive, and with me I have Marina uh, from Colossal Order. Why don't you introduce yourself, Marina? Hi everybody, uh, my name is Marina, and um, I'm the CEO of Colossal Order. Uh, you may know the company from the awesome mass transit simulator game City Motion and City Motion 2. And uh, we're going to talk about our newest game. Yes, today. we're going to talk about City Skylines, which was announced, I think, almost exactly a month ago today. And this is the first time we've seen this game and the first time we show actual gameplay outside of trailers for the public. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, why don't you kick off and show us where we start, Marina? Yeah, of course. Uh, city Skylines is a city building game. Yep. And uh, the whole idea here is that you're going to start in a map. And uh, what we have now is this beautiful forest. Uh, oh, wonderful. Which doesn't actually have that much yet. Uh, so we're going to just start by laying a couple of roads here. And. Uh, Yes, okay, now, what uh, engine have we built this game on? Uh, City Skylines uses Unity, yep. um, as, as did uh, our uh, Cities Motion 2 title, so we're kind of familiar yep. with the engine. And um, it's actually really, really suitable for these kind of games. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna uh, lay down a couple of the basic roads, and oh. uh, you can see with it that it comes with a grid. Yes. Uh, in city building games, the basic idea there is that you can actually uh, zone different kind of areas. Yeah. So uh, in the game over here, you can see this green bar. Yeah. Uh, this is the demand, which actually tells you that what do, what kind of um, uh, zoning mm. does the city require to function uh, properly. So nobody's living in the city yet, so we're basically gonna uh, start by laying uh, a couple of the uh, residential zones. All right. So right. just as an example. Yes. So you just can you how do you, do you just paint that on or how does it work when you zone? Yeah, there's different kind of tools. We have uh, this kind of autofill tool. Yep. Uh, if you want, if you know, we can just uh, start by uh, choosing a section and basically cover one one yep. huge area at once. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna lay a couple of more roads uh, just to make it so that it's a little bit more dense. Okay. Uh, this is just basic um, straight roads. We have a lot of uh, variation to different types of roads. Okay. As can you, can you show see here. some of them? Yeah, of course. And uh, the curved road is yep. something that we're extremely proud of. Um, <laughs> I have to say. Yes. In City Motion, Motion 2, we had it. Uh, we, of course, have to have it in this game. Yep. Um, this is something that uh, we're going to go for the free form one. And uh, just as an example, you can pretty much do all sorts of crazy things. This oh. might not be the most optimal now, but just as an example. Yeah. And uh, the tool is pretty powerful. So uh, if we, for example, want to uh, lay some one-way roads uh, and everything from small gravel roads to highways, yep. uh, you, can, you can actually build with this one. So we can put some pretty uh, avenue here, for ah, example. But also, there are some roads you started up with there. What do they do? Yeah, in the map, uh, of course, if you think about this now, yeah. I have zoned here the first area. Uh, but how are people actually going to appear yep. to your city? So you can see the green area here, which is the zoned area, but uh, there's nothing happening. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to connect uh, the grid I have now just built uh, to the uh, highway, yep. which is uh, going across the map tile that I, I start with. Right. So now we s slowly start to see if we uh, just speed up the time a little bit, that there are actually people starting to move, move in. And please uh, excuse the... <laughs> rather interesting popping up of the buildings yes. because there's we're still in alpha so there's still a yeah. lot of things to be done but over here you can actually see the first houses now yeah. uh, appearing and we see some icons over those yes so basically uh, what do people need uh, you can see in this info window yeah. uh, not enough electricity not e enough water so the basic services that uh, you have to set up for the 
for the citizens yep. in your city are are those exactly but what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna just uh build a little bit more um yep. let's put a little bit more zones in and if you like to change a row now do you have to demolish it or if you uh, want it to be more beautiful or no of course not uh you can actually just uh change change the road type by upgrading it okay. or downgrading it so um what we have is uh, in the road building tool we have this upgrade mm -hmm. road um tool uh and for example now if uh, we want to have some decorative yep. trees for example from here it's All super right. simple yep. to just change it and this is something that if you have a huge city at some point you might want to check how the traffic is yeah. going, uh, maybe widen up the streets a little bit. Uh, the zones are not so critical of that, they will basically just move a little bit yep. to make some room. Of course something needs to be demolished, but... And now you can see the people moving in. Oh, there you go. So, that's excellent. All right. And uh, let's put a little bit more. Yeah more of the zones and with the different tools there as i said there's the autofill one we also have this marquee so for example over here on this amazing kind of curved yeah. i don't even know what shape this is seriously uh, curved road yes uh we can actually uh use the marquee tool all right to cover a huge area so this will definitely help a lot if you know that you want um a lot of the a lot of the um of ones. one type. one yeah type of zoning but now we can see it's changed a bit because yes. now they don't demand as much yeah exactly uh in the demand here you can see that industry and office ones are now uh requested or then the commercial one mm. so of course the citizens uh in here require if we go check it out um we have uh uneducated people living in here yeah. now you can see it over here and there's for example in this one there's two adults Those, living yep. so um they might want to get uh, also workplaces and shopping op yeah. opportunities. So we'll just zone a little bit of um, uh, commercial area, for example, over here using the brush tool, yeah. which we have. And uh, this is just um, kind of, if you think proportionally, um, the demand doesn't give you exact yep. uh, amounts because depending how big your city is, yes. you basically just have to kind of figure out and it's not uh, super critical. If you, if you zone too much area, uh, people are just not going to start building yep. there. So, uh, And the zoning itself doesn't cost anything. Building roads does, but zoning doesn't. So you can just yep. go about and try different kind of things. Of course, with the industry, if we think about there's a highway here, uh, maybe we'll uh, locate the, the industry along these lines um, closer to the highway because, of course, they do uh, create some uh, noise and pollution yep. and all that. So maybe maybe this one is uh, more suitable. Yeah, that might be nicer for everyone living there. Yeah, exactly. So these are the basic zoning tools you have in the in the city. Yep. Um, of course, uh, as you progress, uh, there will be. Uh, high density residential zone there will be high density commercial yep. zone as well as office offices but these require more educated people so we're okay. just gonna start small with the uh, with the city here yeah. so okay these people have been now uh, requesting for water and electricity yes. so how about we actually go yeah. to this beautiful river here Qu a quick question just yeah. uh, before uh, how does the traffic work is it just a graphical representation or are there actually people driving the cars is it uh so uh we actually have unique citizens in in yep. uh, city skylines so all of these little people here uh going about uh and driving they have a function they have a home they have a job hopefully if, you, if you're a proper <laughs> job, exactly, yeah. job creator uh depending on the yep. financial situation of your city uh but the idea here is that all the citizens are unique uh yep. they can they, they are all uh, visually represented and um, it is um, important that you kind of cater to their needs yeah. and we have this guide telling that uh, okay now it's really yeah. seriously time to time to, to uh, give them about, some yeah. energy and the icon here is actually the indication yeah. for that so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna uh, check the electricity yep. Um, here and what we have is the advisor telling us yep. a little bit like how to work work the electricity how to build it yep. and um, 
I don't know how you feel about this, but coal power plant might not be the best um, idea ever. It has a, has a pollution factor, uh, factor yep. but we're going to place it anyway. Yes. Could we lower the speed a little bit, just? Yeah, it's of course, of course. Yeah. So in here you can see with the with the um, time uh, yep. we have the pause, and then we have three different speeds. Yes. Good. Okay. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna now place the coal power yes. plant, and we're gonna actually put it here. In the middle of the residential area. In the area. middle yes. of the residential, because that's exactly where people don't want it. As you can see, there's those little yeah. puffs of pollution indicating to you that, okay, this might not have been the best idea. <laughs> On the other hand, if we go to the... People seem to yeah. actually... Yeah. Enjoy having electricity, yeah, on the even, other, even exactly. if it's polluting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but if we go to the info views, um, we can actually now see that uh, the power plant has given electricity with the blue lines and in the grid here. Yeah. You can see that uh, all of these uh, residential and commercial houses now have electricity. Yes. But what you can see here is that these guys are still not on the blue. Yeah. Uh, how do we fix that? Is that we're now gonna just draw super simply the power line from another grid to another. All right. And soon you can see over here uh, the electricity going and even the industrial area yep. has now electricity. Okay, good. So with we the polluting energy, we're just going to... Yes. Um, can we see now a quick in a map mode if the pollution here? Uh, yes, we All right, yeah. can see that the polluting area here is the industrial area, area. as well as the power Somewhat plant, unfortunately yeah. placed power plant. Yeah, yes. yeah. But we can fix that a little bit later because first thing we need to do is uh, get the water yeah. system running. And as I was uh, explaining earlier or mentioning, we have this river here. Yeah. And you can actually see the river uh, flowing to a certain, yeah. certain way. And we're going to start by looking at the water and sewage system mm. over here we have a water pumping station yep. and uh, we're gonna take it and every time when you go to a certain tool it will give you this info view to help you um, build a certain kind of system yeah. and now we see the small little arrows or triangle thingies in the water what does that show us yeah so these are basically arrows telling which way uh, the river is flowing yeah. uh, because in certain maps you might actually end up having a lake yeah. uh, where the water is relatively still there might be s small currents yeah. uh, but it's rather uh, important that if you look uh, to the instructions the game gives you on the on the um, yeah. we'll just go over here which is now buggy. <laughs> well, yeah, this is alpha. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love when this happens. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, we should have it here. Yes. We should have it here. Uh, okay, but the basic idea is that if you think about placing, uh, placing the pumping station, and then you have a drain pipe. Yeah. Uh, it's rather important to know uh, where do you place them. So we're gonna put the um, pumping station over here. To the edge of the yeah. edge of our uh, map here, and uh, we're gonna put the drain pipe a little bit further away. Right. And the reason you that is? Well, I mean, think about a city where people will have to uh, drink the sewage water. That might not be exactly no, no, the that's most <laughs> optimal. Uh, if you think about like healthcare concerns, yes. it it, it might right. not make sense. So the pollution will run. Yes, which we will actually yep. see uh, demonstrated soon. So now what I have here is the water pipes and yep. I just start simply by, by um, constructing them alongside the, where, where the housing area yep. is. And um, then continuing to the sewage pipe. You missed this. Did I miss this? Yes, if you go back. You got the house in there. Over there, uh, that's true. Yes, very good catch. So we'll just put a little bit more here. Good. All right. And uh, still, these guys are complaining about something. Yeah. They actually still need power. 
Uh, so we're gonna take again the uh, power line yep. and just simply connect the grids.